Throughout the drawn-out decision-making process of choosing a fighter, the industrial offshoots have been at least as important an issue as the performance capabilities of the plane itself. The question was how much work would be done in Canada, and more important lately, where that work would be done. In announcing the choice today, the government presented its arguments for opting for the F-18 deal. McDonnell Douglas offer will bring more and better quality industrial benefits to Canada over the duration of the contract. Industry Minister Herb Gray put numbers on the deal. The McDonnell Douglas program for all of Canada was evaluated at some $3.263 billion as compared to $2.618 billion for the General Dynamics offer. But even following the decision, the arguments continue. General Dynamics, makers of the F-16 and the losing company in this competition, has issued a statement saying the benefits it offered were higher than the government gave it credit for and that the price of the plane the government has bought will go up because of continued problems with it. Indeed, in the government's own calculations on benefits from the F-18, it admits it's including work from McDonnell Douglas on projects other than the fighter plane, work on wings for the DC-9, and work on the cruise missile system. But perhaps the hottest issue has involved the Liberals' Quebec caucus, and its fears that the F-18 didn't offer enough benefits to Quebec and played into the hands of the PQ in the referendum battle. Now that the F-18 deal has been sweetened for Quebec, the Quebec caucus has officially changed its tune. We first started, according to the NIC in Quebec, of uh, 7% of spin-offs for Quebec, and now it's 49%. So, uh, of course, uh, our satisfaction with the F-18 uh, was modified and progress as, as the, the spin-offs progressed uh, for Quebec. But some individual members continue to be skeptical. Certainly, the, 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 the Parti Québécois will attempt to use it, but it, it uh, won't be quite as damaging uh, now as it would have been a, a week or two ago. And skepticism of a different sort was evident in Quebec City today as well. This might be a propaganda operation uh, through the coming up referendum in Quebec. I hope it is not, but I'm saying perhaps. In spite of the fact that the decision has now been made, it seems the battle will continue, both in terms of which plane would be best for Canada and which best for Quebec. In pure referendum terms, though, the Federalists are worried that all of the advanced publicity on how the F-18 was somehow less good for Quebec will be difficult to overcome in the short referendum period, even despite the fact that they feel the deal has now been sufficiently sweetened. Mark Phillips, CBC News, Ottawa.